started off with like Led Zeppelin and Cream and stuff, but I don't know, like started playing bass and I was getting bored with just playing these like blues riffs. So I kind of got into like more progressive stuff. And so I kind of wanted to venture out into something a little more complicated with like progressive or jazz fusion stuff. And I don't know, playing bass for that kind of stuff, it's hard to find like-minded people who want to play with you. So I haven't really been doing a lot of shows with bands. I've been doing more like home recordings. And, uh, Music, so we should go dancing. I don't know, I'm not like really into dancing. Like I kind of get tired from work. Like I'm a screen printer. Don't really feel like doing that kind of stuff after work, you know what I mean? Like just kind of more like chilling out and... You, you should drink more. Is this a mimosa? Uh-huh. Okay. Yummy, right? Yeah, I'm also into sports, like basketball mainly, a little bit of football. It's kind of bummed this year because the Lakers got bounced out early in the playoffs, but there's always next year. Always next year. Christeva, right? So she says that that the woman is an abjected figure because they're cast out of the symbolic order, but this is totally unnecessary because as Judith Butler might say, gender is just a cultural construction and it's just sort of this perpetuation of domination by the patriarchal hegemony. I mean, it's totally unnecessary. And because it's this cultural construct, it's just this entire justification for male power, for male control. And it's, it's totally made up then, it's a fallacy, right? What we have happening is basically the male hegemony telling women who they need to be and sort of forcibly casting them into these archetypal roles. The feminine woman, the docile woman, the masculine woman. But I guess the thing is, why does woman have to be cast into any of these sort of categories? Why do we have to be classified? Isn't it just empowering in itself for woman to be the complex being that she actually is? Nice to finally meet you. Mike Perez. Greta? Steve? Yeah. How's it going? Pretty good. You? Not too bad. Did you have trouble finding the place? Or? No. Um, pretty easy. Good. How was your day? Good. I just got off work. So. Yeah, what do you do again? Something in news or something? Yeah, I'm a news reporter. Yeah, I think I've seen you a couple times. Oh, yeah? But you're pretty new there, right? Yeah, I've been about six 
six months. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a fun job. Okay. It's challenging. Yeah. So have you been here before? Uh, yeah, a couple times. You? Yeah. No. It's pretty good. If you like it. Yeah. Are you done with work today? Yeah, for the day. Um, we both have some free time. If you want to continue this after lunch, we can do something else. Yeah, down. Where are we going? Where do you want to go?